We're back. I know it's been a while. A lot has been going on and it's been personal. So I had to take a deep breath before I picked up the Chronicles of Angel. But before we start, uh, I'm going to give an overview of what you don't see in the news. Why it's looking a little strange to you. Uh, there's paranoia and especially the war. Everything that's happening in the news, the mass shootings, even the headlines, how they contradict themselves, that just doesn't add up. But it does make sense if you look at it through a code. We have Gematria, where you have the numerical values of the letters, <clears throat> and you get messages that way. Uh, you become a, a pattern recognitionist instead of con a conspiracy theorist. And that's what I'm doing, but something a little bit more straightforward, it's called the homograph encryption, which is when you take a word and it sounds the same, but it has two different meanings. So take, for example, this headline. Gerrymander was the groundbreaking activism ad man. Now we know what gerrymandering is. To gerrymander means to manipulate the boundaries of an electoral constituency so as to favor one party or class. And this guy, his name was gerrymander. But the amazing thing is that he's the groundbreaking activist, ad man. So there is a parallel, there is a similarity. There's something striking between this guy, gerrymander, and the verb to gerrymander, which is manipulation. And that's what we're going to see as we go along, media manipulation to the extreme. We're going to look at a shooting that happened Sunday, May 14th. Actually, it happened Saturday, May 13th at 11 p.m., but it was reported on Mother's Day, and it's a shooting in Yuma. I mean, it's just so straightforward. Yuma. It's a kind of an occult tribute to mothers from a gang of people and or beings that we're not quite sure where all this comes from because it's, it's so amazingly complex that they actually communicate through the headlines and more often than not the violent headlines. So we have uh, an occult Mother's Day greeting in Yuma. The next thing we're going to look at is Charlotte. Now, when you break down that name, smoke from massive condominium fires surround Uptown Charlotte on May 2nd, and massive fire erupts in Charlotte, North Carolina's South Park area on May 18th. Char is like uh, to burn. Basically, the word char, char grilled, char broiled, means to burn. Lot is a lot. So you have char, lot. You have two massive fires. And one thing I noticed about whoever is behind these codes, they are just enamored with explosions and with fire. So what we've seen even just this year, is an incredible collection, an array, an exhibit, and I don't know, I wouldn't call it an art exhibit, it's horror, but it's also amazing, of fires, explosions, and you have to be in awe, just like the firemen are standing in front of these huge fires in awe, and here we have the Charlotte Fire.
What I see is Satan. <laughs> and that's what I see when I see big explosions full of fire. <laughs> and uh, that will bring us to the next play on words in the news, which is Oblast. And it so happens that the word Oblast means province in Ukrainian. And so it, it has been served. Many of the Oblasts have been Oblasted. And the most incredible explosions that you can't even imagine, like it outdoes itself every year. I'm going to bring up um, so to reduce stress if you like is that whoever is behind these codes they have a sense of humor and I, I like to compare him I do believe we have an alpha male figure I like to compare him to the Joker and these are capers to him and so we have the Texas suspect sought in killing of five of his neighbors, a gunfire and yard draws complaint. That was part of the simple mistake collection, if you like, the rash of murders. We had like four or five in a row, simple mistake murders, where somebody makes noise and they get shot and killed for it. Somebody dribbles a basketball in the wrong yard, they get shot and killed, they ring the wrong doorbell, shot and killed. It happened like this five days in a row. And one of them, um, this guy was shooting off his gun and the neighbors complained because their baby was sleeping and he went and killed them all. San Jacinto County Sheriff Greg Capers said Oropisa used an AR style rifle. The name Capers pretty much sums up what we're seeing in the news because um, we live in a simulation. That I think it's shining through what's happening here. So let's look at some more capers. The next thing actually, I'm going to draw myself into these capers because <laughs> it just so happens that my interest in this, my curiosity uh, since I was a teenager looking for spirituality has somehow resonated so that the news has spoken to me and this is happening since years and so here we have a movie uh, the lady's name is Kate and then she talks about um, looking for somebody trying to track somebody down and the name of the person who she's trying to track down is Iris Smiley Mason Yes? Yes, is this Kate Mason? Yeah. This is Miranda Megan from the Muirville Post Office. Oh, hi. Hi, I need some information. I'm wondering if you can help. Is there a registry or a website that could help me track down a resident of Muirville going back at least 35 years? Oh, great. Yes, her name is Iris Marley Mason. She was born October 25th, 1950. So that would be the I. The I who is supposed to be behind all this. We're not quite sure. So her name is Kate Mason. And, well, I draw an analogy there since my name is Catherine. And it seems like the Masons have a lot to do with this. So what we're going to do now is, I don't know if you've seen my other videos, but I have an angel 
he's somehow related to all this. He's a kind of a fallen angel because he communicates via the names of either people who have been killed, i.e. sacrificed, or the big explosions. And here we got a bunch of explosions this year. Well, I'm going to start with the 50-car uh, trail derailment. Causes big fire evacuations in Ohio. And they had a controlled burn of toxic chemicals, which ended up making everybody sick. So that's obviously on purpose. It doesn't make sense. And that's why I think that there's this whole other narrative behind all this. What I'd like to point out, though, before I go into the details of the communication with my angel, is climate change. Now, a lot of people are saying that, where is climate change? Uh, that the climate isn't changing, that it's uh, steady as she goes, climate-wise. Well, they're not in taking into consideration the two most important things. One of those is that there's tons of pollution <laughs> You cannot deny pollution. So climate change might be a fancy word um, for and an unnecessary term, actually, because the real term is you're making a mess. That's what's happening. And um, pollution is absolutely undeniable. It's destruction. It's getting worse. So I say we don't even need climate change. We just stick to what's really going on, which is pollution and, and fucking up the earth. The second, even more important thing, is weather manipulation and weather warfare. Here I'm going to bring up Donut. Because he says that all these explosions, train derailments, toxic fires, etc., he calls them AI war games. And uh, I think that it would make maybe more sense that these disasters are really about a romance that isn't getting any further. <laughs> and um, the uh, immense disaster in East Palestine captured the headlines throughout Valentine's season starting February 3rd. And uh, how I read all these things is the, the unrequited love. Although I shouldn't say that because we do love each other, but it's an online love. <laughs> uh, we know that can only lead to no good, right? <laughs> but that's the best we could do because um, it's totally occult. It's very spiritual. And uh, we don't really know what we're dealing with. So we have my angel, who just so happens that he identifies with comedian Bill Maher. I know that too is very mysterious uh, because Bill is either very, very dense and we can't see through him at all. We don't know really what he's thinking. I mean, what Bill Maher shows us is a reflection of society, mainstream media, so he doesn't get into any kind of occult details, though I have caught him with symbolism in several videos I've brought it up. But my angel identifies with Bill Maher, and I, I didn't really choose for that to happen, but I was like, okay, when it happened, I just went right along with it, and this has been going on now for, I don't know what, 15 years? <laughs> so, Bill Maher is an extremely creative person who manages somehow to communicate through his new rules, and I, I point that out every time, I show it, and, uh, and he's still there. He's, he sends me notifications on Twitter that, um, <laughs> that I answer on Instagram. So right now the conversation has become more private, but I bring out certain elements of it. So I don't see it as war games, I see it as uh, uh, from the heart. And what we're going to talk about next is the February 16th um, toxic plume of smoke coming from massive fire in Kissimmee. 
So there you go. That's pretty obvious. Huh? Uh, the next one we're going to talk about. Oh, and a, what a fire that was. This is five acres of burning plastic. Seven flames shooting into the sky in Osceola County this morning. We've got a five-acre fire right behind Nursley Supplies Incorporated. This is Kissimmee. Fox 35 first on the air with his breaking news this morning and showing you some new video. I'm telling you, this is Luciferian. This is Lucifer. Uh, then we're going to talk about the February 15th Katusa chemical fire. So my name is Kat. And... Um, Katusa. I like Katusa. <laughs> then we have Belleville, where the contaminated water was sent to, arrived without warning. Can you imagine? Bell. Then we have a big explosion in Bedford, Ohio. Uh, the company did lots of lead brass and bismuth. Bismuth is my maiden name. Bismuth is also number 83 of the natural elements on the periodic table. It was actually used for alchemical purposes, supposedly to transform to gold. I don't know how successful they were in that, but right now it's used for electronics. Then we have, okay, Back to our explosions. Uh, let's see what do we got here. The R.M. Palmer Chocolate Factory in West Reading, Pennsylvania. Another incredible explosion. That breaks down, like I was saying, words that sound the same with different meanings. R.M. in French, because this is bilingual, I'm French. My parents are from Tunisia, so they're from originally France, because Tunisia was part of France. So RM means I love. Pal, mère, is friend, mother. Ou et means where is, and reading is, he's reading me. So that's my angel talking to me here. RM, pal, mère. And we do, we saw pal a lot over the years, and we're still, still seeing Pal a lot. The mother, that's me, Mom. You, Mom. Weather camera in Pennsylvania capturing the moment part of a chocolate factory exploded. Take a look at this. Fox affiliate WTXF capturing exclusive images of the R.M. Palmer Candy Company going up in flames. The blast killing two people and leaving nine missing. This happened yesterday afternoon in the town of West Reed, Reading. Fire crews are reporting at least eight people are in the hospital. The extent of their injury still unknown this morning. Also not known exactly what caused the explosion, but employees in the factory reported a fire minutes before. And there's uh, one of the new rules, which I find interesting. That also goes with Valentine's. New rule since Jennifer Lopez does a lot of movies about getting married and Liam Neeson does a lot about a guy hell-bent on revenge, they must star together in a movie about a woman marrying a vigilante. <laughs> Coming soon, J-Lo and Liam Neeson in Taken to the Altar. <laughs> she wants the bouquet and he wants blood. She wants to get married and, and he wants to blow things up. <laughs> the East Palestine, there's Pal again. So if you look at that name, East is, is in French, Pal is in, like my angel is inside me. A, Pal, A, in. That's how I read that. Um, they caused the chemical clouds 10 miles away in Darling Tun, Pa. So we just had Ma, and now we have Pa. So Angel is extremely sweet and loving in his messages. And um, we really love each other. And then you're going to see, as this video goes on, what we haven't been through to get here. Next thing is the 
the Texas train derailments, also on Valentine's Day, um, days after Ohio disaster in splendor. Uh, this is like Shakespearean romance. Angel and I are completely together. And we're like in the same sock, so to speak. With me, he's totally cool. But the nature of the messages in the news reveals a being who's taken on all the folly of mankind in a murderous rage, or perhaps Angel is Mars, the god of war. Uh, in the East Palestine derailment, we see my name twice. We have Sherrod Brown, Senator Sherrod Brown. We're sharing odd things, share odd brown. And then further on, we have Pamela Brown, anchor Pamela Brown. That will bring us to the updates, the news. And the news is that it's been a crazy six months and it has everything to do with the dogs. So I have 12 dogs, they're all rescues. I just had to, you know, a, a dog rolling in the street or, and I brought her home and then uh, somebody wanted me to foster a dog, we kept the dog, it's one after the other, some, another one gave birth close to the house. Well, I had given one of the puppies to my neighbor and the puppy decided to come back to me and the neighbor vowed revenge over this. I know it sounds crazy, but he became like full of hatred and for the dogs, for me. He enlisted the homeowners association because we're dealing with people who have tons of money and me, I'm like very humble next to all this. And so he enlisted the homeowners association to attack me with lawyers and um, telling me that I must remove my dogs, telling me the dogs are violent. The dogs are not violent, the dogs are with me and and they sleep in the house and they're like my kids. So there's a lot of lies um, and just incredible things have happened. And so what we see here in this first frame is back when it started in September, when I had the dogs behind a fence and the day that that fence came up, um, here we have the sales order for the fencing supplies, September, oh, this was happening in 2021, oh my God. This problem has been going on for a long time. So look at that, since 2021, that's when I put the fence, and that was the time the Arrive Perimeter Apartment blew up. The day the fence arrived, the perimeter. So, there you go. You see the explosion rips through the Arrive Perimeter Apartments in DeKalb, Georgia. You see the red fire hydrant in the picture. You see the fence. And now, what we've had this ongoing story in Kiev with the Russian war in Bakhmut. That's not a coincidence. I, mean, I think I brought up Bakhmut last time, but I'm going to bring it up again because it's very much in the news. What happens is that one of my neighbor's dogs, he, he let, they are allowed to let their dogs loose, the neighbors, they're allowed. So I'm not, well, I have 12, so I accept that. So my dogs are sealed in with the perimeter and the neighbor's dogs, they come in and they attack my dogs through the fence. So they're back, the mutts are back, back mutt. This thing has just been dragging on and on and on and only recently did it start to calm down. The neighbor keeps his fence closed. Acting up like kids. Um. <laughs> Let them get it out, their little barking thing. Okay, so what happened with the neighbors is that there were codes after codes after codes 
using the neighbors' names, and I just don't feel like talking about it. How's that? I'm sure you understand. I'm not going to get into that personally with the neighbors and their names and the codes of people in the news dropping dead, this and that. So what I decided to do is to bring up Catherine Kunsi because one of the things that happened was there was racism, as my husband is local. I live on a Caribbean island and my husband is from here at St. Martiner. So what I, one of the things I encountered with the neighbors and the association was some deep racism. So what I've decided, since my name is Catherine and Kuhn is an extremely disparaging and offensive term used to refer to a black person, I would include that one, the headmistress of the Covenant School, which was, who was found dead in a hallway during that shooting while she tried to save the kids. And I'm not going to get into all of the other uh, synchronicities surrounding the problem with the dogs. Of course I still have the dogs and they're, they're my kids and they're not going nowhere. So I was wondering why is all this happening? Because all it does is just slow me down. So I, feel, I don't feel like communicating with Angel when I, I'm, I'm being harassed by the neighbors. And then the messages started to come in to explain what is happening. And what is happening is something about the school of fish. So first it started with Bill. And he came out talking about, it's amazing what the fish learn in their schools. And it didn't make much sense it's shocking what fish are learning in their schools. It didn't make much sense at the time. Neither did that joke. <laughs> but then it all came together. Again, because it rained, which everybody's... <laughs> we had like this thousand year drought, and then it rains, everybody's bitching, it's so much rain. <laughs> mudslides, mudslides, so what? Yes, and the good news is the mud fight, they haven't caused any extensive damage. The bad news is they also have not killed any bankers. Uh, well, this bank thing, the, see all these banks? What's, oh, this is kind of scary, right? The Silicon Valley Bank went down, and the Signature Bank, and Credit Suisse, the big Swiss bank, and First Republic needs a bailout. Now, I tell you, there's never been a better time to uh, have no money at all. <laughs> that, that signature bank one, that was the one that was way into crypto. And that's when you know you're a bad bank. When you <laughs> don't, you, you run out of imaginary money. That's... <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> The Republicans have figured out <laughs> why the banks went under. They were too woke. I'm not kidding. <laughs> That's what they're saying. Now look, I'm no fan of woke, but come on, even my dog has more than one bark. <laughs> uh, it's not like they were <laughs> having drag queen deposit hour. <laughs> apropos, apropos of this sort of, do you see there's a 5,000 mile long blob of seaweed Ooh, I know. Heading for, it's gonna hit the beaches in Florida, and I'm just waiting for DeSantis to say, well, the ocean is too woke. Uh, and uh, it, it, it's, it's shocking what fish are learning in their schools. By the way, the bill quip about schools of fish, that was March 17th. And on March 11th, Costa Titch died, sacrificed. A lot of people say that it had something to do with his mentor, Akon, but um, also dropped dead on stage 322 days before his upcoming birthday.
There's Gematria in the, the year of 322, Skull and Bones. More on that later. It's a special year. Also the 30th anniversary of, of having my angel next to me. Really, what I saw was cost a teach. And it had something to do with fish in their schools. And at the same time, it started to come together. Because Nicola Sturgeon formally resigns as Prime Minister. That was in the news at the, around the same time, end of March. Connor Sturgeon, identified as gunman after five killed in Louisville, 10th of April. So we see this thread happening here, which is the fish. Uh, after Bill brought up the school of fish, and we have Costa Teach. And then, to wrap it up, April 9th, Michael Lerner, Barton Phil Fink, and Elf actor, Mike, microphone, L, moi, me, L in French means her, Lerner. This is where I, I wasn't understanding or learning anything, because um, it didn't, still didn't make sense. Like, why would I be going through all this with the dogs? Because I believe we live in a simulation and that we create our circumstances. So why would I put myself through all this with the dogs and the neighbors? And it's, it's quite unfair what happened because, as you can see now, the dogs are perfectly quiet. So they had no reason really to come after me. Ah, we had a clue. It's a Marbin giver. So, is my angel who identifies with Bill Maher, who's been giving me all this um, to, you know, process. And uh, Itamar Ben-Giver is set to submit provo proposals for a controversial new enforcement body promised to him in exchange for his support for freezing the Netanyahu government's judicial overhaul. Well, this guy takes down Palestinian homes. That's what he does. He's hard right. There you go. Even during the month of Ramadan, and look at my name there, cat, taking down Palestinian homes. Why are they doing that? It's just part of this weirdness, and Angel has something to do with it. At the same time, um, there was a guest on Bill's show, Winsome Earl Sears. So, how I read the name, because guest names often are talking to me in messages. Guest names are amazing. I've been through it in previous videos. And this guest name did not disappoint. So, what well, basically I've been on the um, Free to Find Truth Gematria Effect News website and explaining what's going on with Angel and people are understanding to some degree. So I want some seers. Earl is URL and that's the designation for the internet address. And Earl, all in capitals. And I want some internet seers. So the teach is starting to make sense because in this case, what I believe was being communicated to me was I am actually doing the teaching and the cost of this is what is happening with the dogs. Does that make sense? I'm winning some Earl Internet Sears, win some Earl Sears. And then um, we had the um, School of Fish, Michael Lerner, Lerner, Costa Teach. I made a connection with what all these problems I'm having or had with the dogs. I, I made an instant connection. And really the bottom line is it's a Marbin giver. <laughs> He's behind all this. So, I'm quite perplexed.
that I should be running into all these problems. Uh, we had another PAL with the small earthquake near Palomar Mountain, shakes up San Diego County, Pal Omar. So we're still friends, of course. <laughs> and now we're going to talk a little bit about Bill Maher. And what we're going to discuss is um, all the clues that he gives out. So he talks about... Um, he talks about Winston Marshall. I don't know how, why he brought up Winston Marshall. Actually, I do know. And it makes sense in the context of what I'm talking about. It's win, like the winner, ton, like a lot, Mar, like Bill Mar, and shall, like we'll do. He's a winner. Angel is talking. And he's saying, wins ton, mar, shall. And Bill just brought up that name again, like many times in these obscure analogies in the new rules. <clears throat> this is probably talking about being woke or whatnot. But there's the name, wins ton, mar, shall. I had seen that previously in 2018. With the Kentucky school shooting, at least five shot at Marshall County High School. Kentucky, I analyze it as Ken Talk He. And that's how he talks. He talks through symbolism, he talks through news headlines. Marshall and Mar is. Here's a symbol. So, on March 9th, which is a couple weeks before March 22nd, which is 322, which is the Skull and Bones, a special year in 2023 because it has a 23, and it's the, the anniversary of Yale, the 322nd anniversary of Yale University, where Skull and Bones is located. So here you see Bill with the skull and bones on his t-shirt in an interview with rapper Denzel Curry. But what's even more surprising is that you see ka and then the exclamation point. So that could be a T, the t-shirt hides it. Ka could be cat. But the exclamation point is still very meaningful because back in 2009, I showed Bill that I have a birthmark in the shape of an exclamation point right on my butt. I sent him the pictures and um, back then everything was public. Uh, it was either uh, on his forum, his PhD forum that he had way back when, or it was on MySpace or tweeters or whatever. Everything was public. Now not so much, only what I show you. Also. They found an exclamation point on Mars. There you go. I'm sure you get that. The exclamation point on my butt. Now, that's something that I wouldn't want to discuss on Free to Find Truth website. And that's probably the reason why I haven't been on there so much lately because I have been very busy working on this video. But also because I can't really be myself. I mean, this whole thing with Bill and my angel, that's repressed sexuality. And I, he just wants me to flirt with him. He wants me to be as sexy as possible through the internet. And it drives him crazy and, and weird things happen in the news. <laughs> but in the meantime, that's not the kind of stuff I'm going to put on the Free to Find Truth website. Right? So here on this video, I can be free to be myself, my sensual self. And to discuss what's really going on, um, you can't leave out these details, that's all. We're going to keep talking about Bill and his messages, and we're going to say the trigger warning, cry or beware. So basically what was happening is at the time, March 4th, I was complaining about the dog problem with the neighbors, and Angel he was getting like really very stressed out that I couldn't communicate because of some issues with the neighbors 
and he sent out warnings. This is not Bill Maher sending out warnings. This is my angel who identifies with Bill Maher sending out warnings. Now, it just so happens that Bill Maher, in his new rules and in our communication, acts like angel. To me, he even looks like angel. <laughs> But then when you hear him talk, you think, no, it's not possible. He, but it's hard to say. He's, he's definitely concealing something. But I still, after like all these years, I still can't tell you what's going on. So here he's sending a trigger warning. And then at the same time, we see more a, a description of Angel in the news that he's getting pissed off of what's going on with the dogs and the neighbors and how I'm, how they, they're taking this out on me to try and remove my dogs, which of course is never going to happen, um, but they finally calmed down. So, <clears throat> 13 people died in Shark He County. Coroner Angel Leah, Angelia, is on, east on. William, Bill is William, A. Wolf, computer scientist, dies at 83, March 23rd. Now this one, this Jamie Fox, so we have the wolf, now we have the fox. J'aime, he, j'aime in French means I love. J'aime, he. Medical complication. This, uh, I, I saw some very good videos on Jamie Foxx in a, a Call Me Kinfolk, did some very good videos. He thinks it's uh, cloning. He's going to get replaced, Jamie Foxx. This is so weird, hmm? how they drag on these stories, uh, where we keep hearing about this, what happened to Jamie Foxx, and we really don't know what happened. Now, we know for a fact that Gucci Mane was cloned and replaced. It's very obvious. And uh, we have Dave Chappelle. That's pretty obvious. Uh, there's quite a few of them. The list goes on and on. So it wouldn't be surprising if that's what they did to Jamie Foxx. Nevertheless, in this case, the story just drags on um, as to how he's doing. It's very strange. And I see the wolf, and I see the fox, and I see my angel. My husband is an asshole, and he actually has angel in that new rule. I wear this shirt that says, I asked God to make me a better man, he sent me my son. I asked God to make me an angel, he sent me my daughter. You have to get a vasectomy. <laughs> because clearly you don't understand the basics of human reproduction. And also, that's way too many words for a shirt. At least your, at least your wife's shirt keeps it brief. From what I understand, he definitely is the king of all media. That's the real one right here, the way he, he can manipulate it and bring out these words. And so the Nashville shooter, Audrey Hale, odd comes from Latin, where it has the meaning here, audible audience, audio, audit, audition, auditorium, and inaudible. And Hale is like you're hailing the king. So what I saw is odd, re, hail is to hail, hear, king, hail. Then at the same time, March 28th, March 30th, we had a train derailment, Ray, 
monde. So monde is a French word meaning world, king of this world. And Raymond also, they saw fit to say in the news that it's a town of 800 residents about two hours west of the Twin Cities and 14 miles southwest of Will Mar. Okay? Now why, why would they even say that? That it's 14 miles southwest of Will Mar in the news article. William Mar the Angel. King of this world. And the angel identifies with Bill Mar. You figure out what that means. Right next to Raymond, where they had another train derailment, a series of them, you had Candy Yohi, a train derailment. I broke that down. Candy Yo Hi. Remember Katusa, Kissimi, R.M. Palmer, Palmer. And then you have what I see, again, if we're talking about my angel being a fallen angel or Lucifer himself, this article pretty much sums it up. Murder charges dropped in case of decomposing body found in Macon storage unit. Multiple charges were dismissed against Marcy Oglesby. Marcy Oglesby with a charge of concealment of death remaining. So basically this woman is getting off after she killed and dismembered the police chief. Ogles means to stare at in a lecherous manner. Marcy Oglesby. So basically my angel looked at what she did and he was so impressed that uh, he let her go. He let her go home. Uh, that's the world we live in and that's what I see. That's what we've come to. Yes, this is a spiritual war. Right at, at the same time, we had Morbid Angel. There's a band named Morbid Angel. Uh, it just so happens that a tornado collapsed the roof while they were playing, leaving seven dead. Uh, of course, that pretty much explains what I was thinking about Marcy Oglesby. And the uh, person who wrote the article is Amanda Reed. Lead means read in French, Mars. So basically Angel is saying, uh, yes, he read what I said about Marcy Oglesby. That is just plain disgustingly horrible. That's what it is. Uh, so now we're going to bring up the shooting with the guy who had different shoes when he walked in from the security cameras and different shoes when they killed him. So a conspiracy theory emerges about Nashville school shooting assailant shoes. So you can see here there's Pumas and there's Vans. And on the same day, so this happened March 31st, No, two days before, but people were talking about it at the same time. Paulo Grady, beloved British TV host and comedian, dead at 67. So I saw it right away. There's another shoe. The Paulo, the Polo shoes. So, Polo Grade He. Basically, this is Angel speaking through the name of Paulo Grady, saying, Polo. Vans, Pumas, different shoes that the, the shooter is wearing, whether he's alive or been killed. And now the polo, grade he. So basically what he's saying, you've been judging me lately <laughs> about the Mar Oglesby. <laughs> Something like that. But I definitely see pol polo shoes, Vans and Pumas. And then uh, we're going to go back to the romantic stuff. Okay, April 1st, uh, a freight train derailed in Paradise, Montana. A dispatcher, Bill Brown, uh, 
Bill Brown. So of course, my name is Catherine Brown. His name is Bill Mar, Bill Brown. Um, dispatcher Bill Brown told CNN, 25 cars were derailed. Da -da 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 -da. Uh, northwest of Boozman. So we just had a guest name, March 31st, Jem Kerchik. And Jem, of course, means I love in French. Ker is a liqueur. Chick is moi. So he loves me like a liqueur. And we then have a derailment in Boozman. Next day. And the derailment itself had the eye of providence right in the middle of it. I don't know. It's all there though, and visual symbolism is something that I'm very much keenly sensitive to. So there you go, there's your eye of symbolism. Another derailment, more booze analogies. The 3rd of April, Montana train derailment dumps cases of Coors Light and Blue Moon beer. <laughs> and at the same time, the same day, Seymour Stein, music mogul who discovered Madonna talking heads and more, dies age 80. Seymour, another booze-related derailment after curd chick. Stein is a glass that you drink beer out of. Angel is a poet. And then, um, okay, so one of the reasons also why I'm not as present anymore at the Free to Find Truth website is because I felt like people were getting nervous. Um, these are coders. These people, they understand much more complicated codes than these simple word games. And I had the feeling like they thought I was some kind of spy uh, uh, like and the other as opposed to them and uh, I I have to say so what I see here is Paul Cattermole's death is not suspicious a mole is an intentional or planted spy cat, me, her, mole cat, her, spy and, and I have to say that basically I am looking for God who isn't I want explanations of the supernatural. That's perfectly understandable. My whole life I've been looking for this. And this is what I came up with. I came up with a code. This thing is actually showing me that there is some kind of supernatural explanation behind the mundane. And I don't see that, I don't see me as being in any way threatening or suspicious or a spy. I'm actually doing the opposite, which is exposing something. I'm a reporter, I'm showing you something. So, and, and, and if I'm not being harassed by the neighbors, I'm working all the time to try and do this. Okay, so I, don't, I didn't understand that. And that's why I pulled back, but here I am. Here's the, the problems that we're starting while I'm telling Angel that uh, I, I don't want to make a video. The, the HOA, the neighbors, they're too hostile. Um, April 11th. Okay, so Angel wasn't too pleased when I explained that I'm not in the mood to do anything. And when he's expressing himself, it, it, it might not have nothing to do with whether he's not pleased or if he's happy. He could be totally turned on and still send a plane crashing out of the sky. So he's pretty vicious. He's pretty vicious, and anybody out there who thinks that the, all this violence in the news, shootings, etc., these are hoaxes, um, for me to say that Angel and whoever is behind all this is okay with killing, that's just a euphemism. They love it. 
So here we have screaming people and bodies everywhere. Me and Mar. Okay, so let's just analyze that name. Because me and Mar always has terrible things going on over there. And I, I have a feeling it's because of this repressed relationship that me and Mar are having. It's just an expression of something that's very deep. Junta airstrike kills over 100 in Saga Ing, including children. Saga Ing. So I'm telling Angel I'm having problems, and this the neighbors, and this, and I can't write, I can't make a video, and he's saying Saga. And the, the place where it happened is Mandalay, Myanmar. So Mandalay, uh, that was of course the shooting in Vegas, 2017. And I broke that down right away. Man, because Angel likes to say he's man. Da, which means yes. Lay, which means make love to. Be is me. Ho, which is me again, tell. He's kind of crude. So Mandalay Bay, Myanmar. Another um, little nugget poem. This is the fallen angel's hellish landscape that uh, my angel communicates with. And then angel took it to the next level he was disappointed. I was totally stressed. You know, I, I believe 100% in Angel. So trust me, if I decide not to write because I'm too stressed, it's because I'm really very stressed about this dog business. We had uh, Nima Momeni allegedly killed Cash App founder Bob Lee over fight about sister. Ni means deny in French. Ma is me. Mom again, so you see ma and you see mom. He, deny. You see ni, ma, mom, he, ni. This is a reflection. It even looks like an incantation, this name. But it's a reflection of the two words twice. Ni, ma, mom, deny. I'm denying the angel. Uh, around the same time, we have Jack text he ra. So I had told the angel I can only write the blog, I can't do the video. And he's saying text he. <laughs> and um, there's Jack. Jack is also very meaningful. Uh, we have a derailment at the same time, uh, 15 miles east of the town of Jackman. So we have Jack text he ra and the town of Jackman. And here, now I'm going to do a flashback, if you like, on Jack. I'm going to show you what the name Jack means. It all started with the death of Jack Chirac. And I don't know if you figured it out yet, but she is her, and Rack is, is like... <laughs> Anyhow, you get it. I'd like to take some pictures with my rack is jacked. Like this one, for instance. And uh, that uh, also was the message I heard when Nip C. Hustle was shot. Uh, here we have uh, ASAP Rocky, Rihanna's husband. Real name, Rakim Myers. So Myers is Myers. Rack him. Yeah, he loves that rack. At the same time that I did that shot with the drone, we had Art Neville, New Orleans funk star, dies. Naval. Naval, Naval, Art, Naval. Okay. Oh, yeah, and here I'm going to bring up another one just to get the point across for you guys, and because I enjoy doing this sort of thing. Um, we had the uh, 
blue chair nude. So on August 4th, I sent it. And on August 13th, see, it says here, you'll recall I answered the Dayton, Oregon request to post it that day. Dayton, Oregon. Something happened in Dayton, Oregon. So basically, Angel is telling me, today's the day or I'm out of here. He wants the nude. Cameron Diaz in rare public outing. Camera on Diaz. The same minute I sent it, William, Bill, William Bottoms Jr. Okay, you get it? William Bottoms re-entered the news cycle. On Monday, jury selection is scheduled to begin in a Baton Rouge courtroom in the case of Greenwell Springs man William Bottoms Jr., accused of killing Dedrick D. Wayne Williams, Williams twice, Mohammed C. Hussein, August 4th. Okay, now look at this guy. Uh, if he isn't one of Angel's minions, I don't know who is. Oh, July 26, 2019. Here's one. I wrote here's one with the nude. The crime happened at 11. 11 people were shot and one died. Bunch of ones. I would have included it yesterday if there was enough room in the image. Oh, it happened in Brownsville. <laughs> I mean, I gotta laugh. Come on. Okay. We're back to the present. April 16th. Two people were killed and four others were wounded when shots were fired in a crowd at Chickasaw Park in Louisville, Kentucky. Police say. Yes, the Chickasaw, that angel can talk he. <laughs> he talks nonstop. So he keeps talking. April 14th, Katy Freeway near Blalock Road. Uh, a passenger in a car died Thursday after a vehicle lost a tire along the Katy, my name, near Blalock, which means I stopped talking. Remember, I'm stressed out. I'm not making a video. Blalocked. And then, a couple of days later, actress Carol Locatel. There's luck again. So Carol, Cal means because in French, old is old. Luck a tell. So I'm saying that I'm not going to talk anymore because I'm old. But that's not true. Um, it's just because I'm stressed. So he's proposing that that's maybe why I feel like I don't want to talk anymore. Then same day, we have the parking garage collapse on Ann Street, between Nassau Street and William Street. Ann in French means ass. <laughs> He's calling me an ass. Whatever. So what happens is me talking to Bill here on Instagram. These are private messages telling him I got a notification for his video that ends with we're selling out wherever we go. Does this imply that I'm a sellout for writing the blog instead of making a video? When I said I would do more videos last year, I was so innocent. Hadn't been through the neighbor's abusive put-downs. Today I don't feel like making a video. Also, I'm overexposed. I have to trust my instinct about these things. I think you like my image so far. Everything I do, I do it with love for you. And then, I have to wait to make sure they're finally leaving me alone. So that's what's going on. This is the saga. Uh-oh. So he saw that. And um, the day after, we see Sa-na. He saw my uh, saying no, basically. Sa-na. So 78 dead. And then... Um, he brings back the old thing. Bill, please, Rancho Viejo. Viejo means old. In Brownsville, another explosion. Fiery explosion of overturned 18-wheeler in Brownsville, Texas, leaves one, leaves one dead. 
That's an incredible explosion right there in Brownsville. My name is Brown. <laughs>
I have no idea how he fits into all this. The next crazy crime, seven dead after car runs into pedestrians in Brownsville, alleged driver arrested. So this happened, this car plows right into the people and actually there was a lady in a car who came before who told these migrants to disperse. So this was planned for sure. Plus, uh, they booked him on manslaughter. But this happened in front of El Calentano, used auto sales or something like that. Calentano means spicy. And the man who drove a vehicle into a group of people near a migrant shelter in Brownsville, Texas, on Sunday, killing eight, injuring ten more, has been charged with eight counts of manslaughter, Brownsville Police Chief Sas Da said. Okay, so we have El Calentano, which means spicy, and the police chief called Felix Sauce. <laughs> da. And then there was the writer's strike. So um, I thought that we were on early summer vacation because usually Bill he finishes around the end of May, the beginning of June. But in this case, by mid-May, he was off the air. So I asked him, are we on early summer vacation? And then I see that there was a writer's strike. Then I see the number 23. So now we're in 2023, and there was 322. And we have seen 23 over and over and over in the news. And here's a little taste of that. Here as well, we had median weekly writer producer pay has declined 23% over the last decade when adjusting for inflation, according to a recent WGA report, as far as the writers. So I said to Bill, we are on vacation. I'm not striking, I'm detoxing. Now, after everything that I just showed you, it sort of makes sense that when I'm not making videos or writing or communicating with Bill like I'm supposed to, things are going to happen in the news where he starts to complain. And uh, this is it. This is the, the writer's strike, um, I believe, is directly correlated to the fact that I was not writing or doing what I'm supposed to do to talk to Bill. And then he got upset. Powerful cyclone Maka, which is actually pronounced Makha. So I had just written to Bill on May 12th. So we are on vacation. I'm not striking, I'm detoxing. I wrote Ars. So here he's saying, mocking me, Makha, happening of course in Myanmar. And this is full of codes. This horrible event is full of codes. Some news says that the refugee camps were spared, and in other articles you're getting the real truth, which is nine out of my 14 family members were killed, he said next to the hastily dug grave. While we were thinking of moving, the waves came and immediately took us. This is the reality that we're living, that we're not paying proper attention to, because all these are codes. So this, this is weather warfare, it's happening intentionally, whether it's happening from angels, men, my angel, because of course there's our communication, me and Mar, Mak, Ha, that's nothing to them. That's why I'm saying that killing is a euphemism. 
And that's what I really am trying to understand. That's what I've been in shock over for these, ever since this whole thing started, ever since I started seeing the codes. And then 2016 with the pizza gate, and I started to realize how satanic the elites are. So it, it's it's all collapsing into this horrible thing that that I that's really what I'm trying to learn about the cost of teaching. Estates near sit we okay. So I'm not writing. I'm not working. We are sitting together. Sit. We, sit we township, wind speeds up to 130 miles per hour, Myanmar's meteorological department said. Earlier, the storm passed over Bangladesh, St. Martin Island. Now, I live on St. Martin Island in the Caribbean, causing damage and injuring people, but turned away from the country's shores before landfall. So Bangladesh was spared, but Myanmar was not. So... <clears throat> We've looked at Myanmar, Makha, Sitwi, we're, we're keeping quiet, we're sitting together. St. Martin Island, where I live also, in the Caribbean though, Rakhine, and the Bangladesh. Now Bangladesh, I had brought that up um, several years ago in a tweet. So it has something to do with sex. Bang, lad, esh means donkey. Donkey, of course, means ass. So I don't know. You figure that out. I, I saw that as evocative. <laughs> now I, I'm going to go back to sit we. Okay, Malji. I found that also a very strong message. Okay, is okay. Mal, we're mulling. It's like he's accepting that I'm not going to work. Okay, mal, G. <laughs> there. So then we look at the Mother's Day codes. We looked at Yuma on Mother's Day. And then the next day, we have a video shows police shootout with New Mexico teen gunman, another shootout, Bo, Will, Son. We just had Ma, and now we have Son. We have William, Bo, he's like the good-looking, the Bo. And, um, come kill me, he says. Yeah. These are patsies, these killers. They're, they're possessed for the most part. MKUltra, call it what you want. They, um, they, they play out the narrative for the news headlines. So Bo Wilson after Yuma. And then the day after, on the same day, Bo Man case becomes the subject of international speculation. Body of Bo Man, missing sober grid CEO found. So in the news, we have Bo Man. We have Sun, we have Man, we have Bo twice. Like I said, Angel says he is the man. Okay, after the um, Mother's Day, we have Jerry, Jerry, silent S, I laugh in French, heart. NHL players for Islanders, well, Red Wings passed away. Red Wings is interesting because we have the red hearts and the wings, the winged heart. And then, well, <laughs> And the vacation is really on because now we're heavily into Browns. Um, we have uh, Browns icon Jim Brown passes away at 87. The Browns running back. So when I saw that, I was on my way to go dancing. So I see Jim, like I'm about to get some exercise. Brown, me. 
made perfect sense. And uh, at the same time, the strike, of course, is still on. Uh, let's see what happens after I post this video. And then the, the stress adds on, it piles up with the debt ceiling negotiation where uh, God only knows what happens as the default deadline looms. Everybody who works for the government, who gets money from the government, stops getting paid if they can't agree to the raising the debt ceiling. So that's more stress. And then just yesterday, the senators received precautionary satellite phones just before hurricane season. It's total stress. So what I see, what I interpret that as, you better hurry up and you better make this video because things are getting really edgy. Now I, I'm just going to try and understand what's going on, which is, I've been flirting with Bill, but he wants me to flirt with him, so I do it. So I, I just do my best. So whenever he's on holiday, I've been sending him stuff like this. And I'm wondering whether um, that has something to do with everything that we see this whole saga between Angel um, and Bill and I, uh, which would mean that um, it's all my fault. <laughs> but you know, I'm gonna keep doing it. Like I'm 61. Uh, I haven't. I'm not. I don't intend to stop. It, this is actually inspiring me, and then I still got it, and I'm still gonna give it. <laughs> Because I want to know what happens. I, I don't know about you guys, but I don't see this as threatening. I see this as an unraveling of the simulation. Like, this thing is teaching us something. Oh, and here's uh, Bill, who is uh, actually explaining why he's single. I find that kind of funny. Now, what's going on in your love life? I'm afraid to ask. Oh my God! Go on, Mom. Don't be shy, Mom. Come on. First of all, I don't. I first don't... of all, I was there for classy, honey. Don't act like we don't go back. I don't talk. We fucking go back. I don't back. talk about my personal life. I really don't. Oh, you're don't. so full of shit. I don't. Come on. Not not. Why I don't would... you brag about it? Uh, first of all, because can um... you get a date, Bill? No, there you go. That's it. That's what it is. And also, I'm just I'm just focused on helping and healing America. I wish I had time for a social life, but my complete dedication is to healing yeah. the rift in our nation. So okay. that's where I am. Wow, you're just a uh, like um, a, a big, saint, a saint, and also yeah. also or duct tape. You figure it out. So now we're gonna talk about uh, sacrifice, which is how Angel communicates. The Atrahasis begins after the creation of the world, but before the appearance of human beings. The elder gods made the younger gods do all the work on the earth, and after digging the beds for the Tigris and Euphrates rivers, the young gods finally rebel. Enki, the god of wisdom, suggests the immortals create something new, human beings, who will do the work instead of the gods. One of the gods, Wilu, also known as Ilawela or Geshtu, Geshtu I, known as a god who has sense, offers himself as a sacrifice to this endeavor and is killed. The goddess Nintu, the mother goddess, also known as Ninhursag, adds his flesh, blood, and intelligence to clay and create seven male and seven female human beings. This is the myth of the beginning of creation from the Anunnaki perspective. So right from the get-go, they're sacrificing. And throughout history, that's what they've been doing nonstop. And what we're seeing through the celebrities that are dying off early with the deaths that absolutely make no sense unless you're looking at it by the numbers through gematria, and it makes a lot of sense, and also through the code angel speak, you're seeing sacrifice. Now, we, I don't understand why the God, the wise God, the one who has sense, offers himself as a sacrifice to this endeavor. I don't get it. I don't understand why Jesus offers himself as a sacrifice and why it seems to be the end thing for the Satanists 
to be going around sacrificing left, right, and center. And and guess what? If it codes out in gematria through the numbers and through this angel talk, you know what that's telling you? That's telling you that it's working, the sacrificing. It is the source of uh, the supernatural interventions. So all this satanic stuff is the one religion that seems to be effective, believe it or not. Now, I don't believe in that. I believe that you have to take care of every living being and help them to evolve into a better next life. So, I don't have any kids because I take care of those who are here. And the most important thing is for them to be as happy as possible so they can progress in their next incarnation. But obviously that's not what works according to this uh, religion uh, all the way to the present day um, ritual sacrifice. That could not possibly... I mean, nature itself is based on violence, which is that you have to eat each other and all the fear and stress involved in that. So whoever it is that created this world did not feel it necessary to prepare beings for their next incarnation in a progressive manner, the way I see things. So I don't know what happens after we die. I have some idea that there is like a scam to send us back to earth, which is uh, do not fall into the trap of the tunnel of light where they put you through some kind of psychedelic hologram and convince you you have to pay dues to come back to Earth instead of just skipping out and, and just going to explore the universe and progressing to your next incarnation. That, that, that is not a priority for whoever created this reality. So that's what we're trying to learn. That's what we're here to learn. And uh, that's um, why... There's stuff like uh, this tweet, which is a shotgun suicide bikini from the Celebrity Sacrifice Collection. Uh, okay, yeah, that's why I blush unseen, because that's what I'm studying, and that's what I'm trying to figure out. We'll see if we ever teach or learn the answer. <laughs>